Hi. Over the last week, I've made about five bazillion videos, and I've hated every single one of them for one reason or another. Um, my hair is not behaving today. <laughs> I just got done working out, so it's, it's just not behaving at all. I thought I just decided to get over here and give you all an update on what's going on in life, and you can know why I'm not making videos. Um, the first video I was going to do was why it's so important if you're going to be an inspiring makeup artist to always have makeup on on YouTube. Maybe I should. At least I have. My nails are done. But look, we had a tragedy. Tragic loss. Now, I don't know if I should just cut them all down or keep these the same length and wait for this one to catch up. Advice is good. I haven't made a but I've made a buttload of videos, but I didn't like the way I looked, the way I sounded. I was sick, and I sounded like poopy on toast. And then um, I didn't get the stuff mailed off that I was supposed to mail off last Tuesday till uh, till Saturday. Um, I hate Christmas time. I mean, I don't hate Christmas, but I hate the expectations you know, of being Superwoman and all that, and being merry and bright. Um, honestly, this is a hard time of year for me. I've had a lot of loss in, the last, in my lifetime right now. I've lost my son um, 13 years ago, January 10th. I lost um, one of my best friends in the world, Mark, two years ago. Uh, they he was dead Christmas Day, but they didn't pronounce him dead till the day after Christmas. Brain dead. He fell down the stairs on the 17th and was on life support after that. I didn't get to say goodbye to him because they were too busy trying to keep him alive to think about calling me. And I understand that completely. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, my other best friend went into hospice that same two years ago and passed away shortly after that. Two months. Two months of the day. Um, so I'll just, you know, I'm not a real big fan of this time of year. I mean, I feel good at the Christmas spirit. We have our tree up, finally. The kids did it up, and it's really good looking, and I'm really pleased with it. I have been making a lot of videos, and I went out Saturday night, and I wore flops eyelashes, they look fantabulous, I have to say, I must say. Um, very decorative. I had one more, th I had two things here to review, and then I can now I can't find the other one, because somebody's been mucking around with my stuff. They've been mucking around with my stuff, they muck, they muck, muckety muck, 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 and I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Alright, my first review is on nothing to do with hair or makeup. I, I totally give up. I'm going to do something else and stuff. Because that's the way life is and we, we, we all just do it. When you think about your loved ones and sending them Christmas cards, don't send them anything like this. And then I'm going to open it all the way. See that? My dad sent me that. It's a beautiful card. Lovely. My husband got mad for me getting glitter all over the bed from my makeup. Twas the card at Christmas. He apologized. Alright, um, the next thing is... I have two products that I cannot... I have two products that I cannot live out that Paula Begon in her book, Don't Call the Cosmetics Center Without Me, Pans. And I love them. And I am not going to get into the essential oils versus non-essential oils and what essential oils can do, just can blah, 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 blah. I found the Brits Bees Lip Balm with Peppermint is the only thing that can keep me from getting cracks in the winter time. I get horrible cracks around my mouth. It doesn't break me out around my mouth. I used another one and it did. Uh, I'm trying a Lush vegan one. 
and I like it, but I like this better. The Lush one is better under lipstick. This under lipstick, feather, 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 feather fly away. But if I'm not wearing lipstick, and I don't like the way they're colored ones, they, they move to the edge of my lips, and there's nothing in the middle, and I can't, this, so I'm hoping Urban Decay's um, lip primer will work on that, because that's something I hope to get in January. Oh my god, my list of the things I hope to get in January. This is the month that I am investing in the products for my business. I got, oh my god, I got, I got today. Oh, 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 okay, real, some really good happening today. Okay, okay, ready? Okay, all right, sit down, okay. Okay, oh, two things. First, Nat and Eagle, her new, if you haven't seen, if you don't follow her, I'll put a link in the sidebar, and oh my god, her video today, histronical reasons why she's not been doing tutorials. One of my reasons, of course, is it is the holiday season and I am busily crocheting hats and mittens and, and maybe they're right Okay, so the other thing, the thing that was really cool. Okay, okay. My favorite photographer, Mark Moore, in Michigan, worth seeking out his website. Beautiful stuff. I don't have the address on the top of my head like I have Nat Neagle's web, you know, some subscriber. He agreed to do photography with me for my book for free to help with his book and then he sweetly asked me if <laughs> he sweetly asked me if it would be okay if he used the prints I'm like oh my god are you kidding use them everywhere oh my god I'll take your business cards too. Oh, that's so awesome! So Mark Morris will be doing photographs for me for my um, my book, and I'm going to run a conference center room here in not my book, my 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 book, you know, my book book. And I'm running a conference center room here in Ann Arbor to do it rather than try to get studio space because it's cheaper by several hundred dollars. All right, so another product I'm loving right now. Again, this Paul Bagan does not like this, and you know, a lot of people really follow her stuff, but I, she doesn't like the company in general, but Lush's Dream Cream. It smells really nice, I think. Of course, I don't, this is not feminine. And feminine is usually rosy, and I'm allergic to roses, and they use real things. So, but their Dream Cream is smooth, and it's silky, and it's not, I, am, I don't feel greasy after I use it. Now, my husband still hates it. He hates putting any kind of cream on his hands, and if he puts lotion on my back, he goes and washes like this. Ew, and washes them off painly. Uh, he's sitting right here. <laughs> he's giving me a dirty look. But I love it, and it was worth every bit of the money I paid for it. And um, I didn't know they had a back to a Lush program. If you take five of these clean pot, pots back, you get a free face mask. Hey. And they just, like, just, just covered me in samples. I am, I am sampled for the next few years. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about tonight is I am allergic to rose hips, which means I'm allergic to rose hips, which means I don't heal easily because that's hard for me to get vitamin C because much of the vitamin C products you take from over the counter are rose hips. Well, one of the companies that does a rose hip free vitamin C is GNC. They changed the packaging, they changed the formula, and these are horrible. It's like, it's supposed to taste like orange. If I ate an orange that tasted like this, I would never eat oranges again as long as I live. So that's all that I have to say. Um, that's my little update. I will do tutorial tomorrow, tomorrow night blog TV. I will not be doing blog TV this Sunday um, because I have... Um, First of all, I found out that Sunday nights are a really good night for people to abuse you, so we may change that up altogether. And then um, the other reason is that uh, um, some holiday thing, I can't remember what. Um, I'll be alone for Christmas, so I'll probably sit around and make videos coming out of my ears on Christmas Day and tutorials and stuff and taking makeup off, putting makeup on, and it'll be fun, fun, fun to listen until my kids come home and take my makeup away. And I'm going to have my friend with me. She's going to be over here, and I'm going to make her over and start taking pictures of her for my, for my, my, uh, my portfolio. Have fun. Play with your makeup. Don't be like me. Not wear makeup. When you do a vlog, vlog entry on 
Um, YouTube. It's bad. It's unprofessional. But I'm just going to working out.